and welcome everybody to Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. Where we're gonna come CB full circle. Hey. Those are shapes. <laughs> They're all shapes. Play the rules. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiple multiplier, and you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards, and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four, plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points, times two for the energy, and your final score is 12. And now we need to determine today's wheel of energy! Are you hoping for anything big today? Mm, what fire. are the guys in the back? Fire. 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 Let's see. Can we get some fire? Fire. 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 And it. Oh! Whoa. And it's electric again. again! Just like last time. Oh my gosh, you can't make this stuff up. Last time, there's not that many electric Pokemon, but the type advantage paid off big and multiplied one of the rarest cards in the set up to 72 points. 78, yeah, you're right. 78. Yeah, 78. 78 points is our current leader. It's also one pack in and the highest score we have ever seen charted. Yeah. On box breakers. Come so, on, yeah, yeah. Even if for people who've played three rounds in a row, their max totals have not even come close to this one single pack, which is how crazy this game can be. That said, it's not insurmountable. That can still be beaten with a single card. Yeah, there are multiple cards in the set that will have values that will easily put you into that category. Not to mention, you just never know when look, the multiplier is going to come into play, or you're just going to get a whole bunch of the randomly chosen common chase cards, which Jay's going to tell you about now. That's right. Today's randomly chosen common chase cards are going to be Whalmer, Ralts, and Ninetales. I was kind of excited to see the Whalmer and the Ralts pop up because yes. we've seen a lot of those the, that, in the last couple of weeks. Absolutely. So I think that's going to really pay dividends for a lot of people today and we'll see whether or not that lightning bolt energy does anything as well to give a little bit of extra multiplication action. Yes, it will. This should be very exciting. Are you uh, ready to crack open a box? We need a box. We need a hold. in the box and never been opened. Sputnik. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Until now. We are being so clumsy with this box. Oh, we are. For two! That's pretty good. That's not bad. All right. Let's get the uh, box rolling here. In, in pro mode. In pro mode. Boom. Oh. Oh, Extra pro mode. All right. And our first patron of the day is going to be Justin Jump. Now, Justin entered late last season, only had three points on that, uh, that on last season at all. I know. So, I mean, what, what we're looking for, Justin, today is seven plus points. Yeah, that's what we're Seven we want. plus. That's, that's, what I'm, that's like my expectations. The bar has been set. Bam. The uh, rock is pummeling energy. We're going to keep looking out for those uh, Thunderbolt, Lightning, Harry Potter, Scar energies. Uh, that's also going to get you points. The Ralts. The Ralts. Oh, one. you're right. The Ralts yep, is there a we point. Go. The Pikachu is going to be a point. Yep. The Balto and right out of the gate, Ben. Oh, you can Bam, see it. Oh. The Omis Star. So we know that from a previous round is worth just a single point. And that is kind of amazing that we have now. We've now found two of those. That is crazy. In the set. I mean, like there, it's a little bit more common as far as like the uh, the full arts are concerned, but um, <clears throat> still, like it's not it's not totally common that you'd pull multiples across just two boxes. Yeah. Also fun just getting a nice full art out of the very first pack. I know, that's what you that's what you want to see. We've been seeing in this particular set, Silver Tempest, that like the early packs are the ones that are pulling big. It does seem that way. Now, for now, what it's worth, all of the, the name cards over here are completely randomized. Completely random. so. Also, just because it's been early packs doesn't mean that's how it will be. Obviously, it's completely random as well. Yeah. But let's see. Next up is Abby. Doing Abby. a really good season last time, 26 points. Absolutely. Very competitive player, Abby. So we're going to see if she can carry that over into season three. I have all the faith in the world. You think so? I think so. Yeah. 
Boy, uh, last season, Abby had a five-week-old, so it's probably, uh, said child's probably a little bit older now. Probably so, probably so. <laughs> Maybe now getting into Pokemon cards, you can probably. already see at least a Ralts in there, so we're going to have at least the one... The one extra point. Oh, They're no, the rock again the rock with the energy. Know, They're doubling I up. I don't know what is with this set. I don't know either. The Ralts, there's yeah, the point. Yeah. The Dratini, the, the Clank. That would have gotten oh. something to stun Fisk. Fisk. And the, the end of Gardevoir. So just three points. Three points for Abby. There you go. So you're now, you're now your, teenager slash right. previously five week old. Maybe they'll bring this Gardevoir to a tournament. Maybe they'll throw down. Maybe words will be exchanged. Who knows? Pokemon can get pretty wild. It's true. Yeah. If I know yeah. anything about Pokemon, <laughs> it's that <laughs> one month old be getting into it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up is Simon Perchert. 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 There we go. Finished last season with eight points. Of course, we're starting fresh now, so back to zero. Can they come out guns blazing, or as we like to say, buns glazing? Oh, with the fire energy, With the too. fire energy. How appropriate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Regenerative energy as well. So much energy in this particular The whale is yep, a point right point. there. The Phoebus is not. The Fambi the Armaldo actually is. And the Zygarde is. So that's going to be a three-point pack for Simon. All right. We're off to a nice slow start here, but I feel like that's a good sign. It's honestly. a good sign. It's a good sign. I, I prefer it almost when we have like a little bit of like a lull in the beginning, and then we like can build up towards like the big stuff. Right. All right. Now we have Johnny. Johnny. The casino pit boss. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Not. Not. Uh. What, what is the word I'm looking for? Used to being around cards. Yeah. Yeah. Familiar with this type of environment. Right. One, two, three, four. We yeah. go to the front. He's used to games point. of chance, not games of skill like this. That's exactly. Yeah. There's our fireball energy, as yeah. ever, coming off the line to match up with our previous pack. Yep. Yeah. So weird. It is super uh, weird. Backs, fletching. It it's one of those things that, you, like, just nobody would ever, like, have any reason. Lance, and then, and then, oh. Oh, the melodic. Oh, my melodic. goodness. So, so Johnny, just a single point. Comes out with a single point on the pack there. Wow, unfortunate, unfortunate start to the day, but maybe Johnny is aiming for that bottom place position, which at the moment is being held by Data Rage and Anita, both tied with zero points. Zero points, very impressive. Yes, Difficult very to do up difficult until this season, do. couldn't have been done. Yes, in order to do that, you have to pull the V-Star marker and then also basically nothing. Basically nothing. So you gotta dodge a lot to get down to zero, and they both have skillfully. Skillfully, now, let's artfully. See. Maybe, maybe Mots is gonna be doing that as well, because next up is his crowd favorite, Mots. Mots! Yes. 12 big, points last season. Big player in the SCB community. Absolutely indeed. But how are they going to do this season on Box Breakers? Boom, metal energy. All right, so no type advantage at all yet in this particular episode. But, but we, we know one. we know that when it does come, it will come twice, at least we that. Do. Exactly. The There's Pikachu, the Pikachu. Yep. that's something. The token of Mario and the Medicham. Chakra Awakening. That Medicham looks like it is just chilling out. Chilling. That's going to be a two-point pack for Mots. That's about. That's a pretty typical pack for Mots, honestly, at this point. We've seen a lot of packs from him so far. This is about. This is kind of how he plays the game. Par for the course, par you for know? the course, but that's okay. Consistency. Exactly. Right down the middle, right down the line. Next up, Enzelman. 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 So Enzelman entered the game late last season, only had a single pack to their name. They got six out of it, which would not be bad this season so far. I mean, it's no 78, but... What, what is? But man. what is? Otherwise, we, I, know, I, saw, I spotted the Whale Lord there, and I do also have word from the guys in the back. The that the that there, there could be something to foot in this particular pack here. Eyeball so got an eyeball energy, which is a crowd favorite here at, at CBQ. There's no doubt. Really, the clay doll. The, the whale, whale is a so point. That. Yeah, the Murkrow. The Mulga's a point. Oh, the Mulga. I'm sorry. Good save, good save. I would have gone right past it. You can see something's peeking out back there. The Durant uh -oh, Durant. You're right. Oh, it's going to oh, be. Oh, the Trainer Gallery. Oh, it's a Trainer Gallery Mawile. That's excellent. Very exciting. Very okay. exciting. So that's going to score something. And, and oh! Look at that, guys in the back. They're guys back. In the back. They're back! They always know! Man, okay, so I bet the Mall Wow is actually the one that's a little bit more, but let's okay. see. Let's see. We have yeah, four so number, scoring cards here. Number 128 on the pack is even worth 69 cents, rounds up to one point. That's the Magirna. Okay, that's the Magirna. Okay, so then if we go to the TG17 for the Mall Wow, 
That is going to be $6.58. So, so it rounds up to seven. Seven, eight, eight, nine, ten points. Ten points. Wow, for Enselman. That puts you in the top five. Easy. That's better than the entire first week of this season, which uh, Matt Cox held first place for a while there with eight points. <laughs> Until know. Ben C came in and basically just stomped on literally everyone who's ever played the game. Boogie uh, does that to people. Yeah, Boogie classic. It's that. interesting to me that not only is it uh, like the rarest card, but it's also currently the most competitive card. Yeah. So like, it's even competitive in this game, in which this is not game. even playing by the same rules. It's not. Lugi is just wrecking everything right now. Next up, we have Brook. Uh, used to collect Pokemon cards and decided to start again because of CB Full Circle. Hey, I think she meant CB Cubed. <laughs> you know it, babe. You know it. <laughs> Eyeball energy, no one's surprised because of the way these boxes work. I don't understand it. The Dedenny, the Drakeen, the Chip Chow. I do see something peeking out back there. Do you? Right? Okay, yeah. okay. All right, the Ponyta, the Golbat, and... Oh, no! <gasps> this is it, you guys. We said it could happen. We said Ben C could be dethroned, and this is the card. This is the best card we've ever pulled on this show. Oh my gosh, this is the alt art Lugia V. Again, Lugia rears its head and stomps down. I can't believe I'm holding this card right now. This is awesome. Cat, uh, we need a sleeve. Yeah, we're gonna need a sleeve in here. Uh, ben, if you'd like to officially look up the exact number this card is worth, Holy this is is but. awesome, Brooke. Well done. Welcome to first place. Let's see. Now that said, if someone pulls the Alt Art Lugia V, uh, with even without any multipliers, it would still win. And it's so early. It's so early on. You know, we're still in December. We got to get all the way to February. Like Ben and his son are going to be sitting there worrying until the February. whole time. <laughs> <That's enough. laughs> so knock them off. It's too bad you didn't have the type advantage. But you don't need it. What's the number, Ben? Two hundred and twenty-eight dollars wow. and sixty-three cents. So that's gonna be two hundred and twenty-nine points plus the chin chows and even two thirty for Brooke. I am thinking What on earth just happened? Brooke is looking great out in front there. I and thought I thought there was no, no way. way. I thought there was no cat has got a sleeve for us. Cat, we just pulled the rarest card in the entire You're kidding. set. Yeah, oh, that's 228 points. I didn't know what kind you wanted, so I brought them all. They brought them all. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, okay, okay. Let's see if we can find a fun one. Okay, I like these. They have little Pikachu's on them. Okay. We'll save that guy, right? No, here I'm just we'll get a top loader. Nice and gently now, nice and gently. Wow. Hot diggity dang. Well, it feels, um, there you go, Brooke. Nice and protected for you. It feels unlikely someone's gonna beat it, but it's not impossible someone else could pull this exact card before the end of the season. I really didn't think that Ben C was had I didn't any think trouble. Did either. I, I thought that was. Oh my gosh, that is fantastic work there, Brooke. I'm I'm genuinely, I am genuinely shocked right I'm, now. I am shocked that just one episode later, it has happened. Ben C and his son were watching at home like, we've got it. There's no way. Are we going to get all the way to February? I want to say no there was way. something like a 1 in 650 pack chance of pulling the that The pull card. rate is that it's not even the rarest pull card, it, it but is, it is the most valuable card. Yeah, the rarest card in the set is going to be the Rainbow Lugia V-Star, yeah. which has a 1 in 1,271, but it's only worth 38 points overall. But you know what? I'm just going to call it right now. I bet we call, I bet we pull it this season. You think so? I bet we do. I bet we do. Oh We're going to get the hat trick. Gosh. Okay, well, Ben, it is your turn to pull a card for our next contestant, Aiden, who you know is just wishing they'd gotten one turn earlier. <laughs> Aiden, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Aiden loves chess and cricket and had 23 points last season <laughs> oh my and almost won this okay. season I gotta, I gotta come down <laughs> off this I'm on a high right that was an insane pull bro okay. well done okay okay all right Aiden oh oh man. no and Aiden comes in with the negative one with on the, the negative one. Oh, it can't be it can't, okay okay that's okay, all right let's see. Right. we'll see what happens we'll see what the toxic, toxic crow, crow last crow. week would have been helpful yep. the crow the well, rotom rotom gets no. you back to one point so okay. that's good yeah Bampy, the Snorunt, and the Verizia. So it's going to be a one-point pack there for Aiden. It's uh, about the ex almost exact opposite of our last pack. That's okay. 
Um, yeah. Cards headed your Cards way. Cards headed your way. way. All the same. All the same. Ooh, the back of my head hurts from smiling <laughs> so hard. <laughs> Just so proud of Brooke, you know? You love to see someone's hard work pay off. You do. You do. Yeah. Next up, we have Tempest Blade. Uh, coming in. Their favorite Pokemon is Luxray, Pyro, Lucario. Oh, this is our Lion Lover. Okay, okay. Yeah. Big Cat Man. Boom. Oh, no. We should have seen it coming. We should have seen it coming. Of course. There's yeah, the V-Star because of the double. Yeah, the double. double. Yeah, the weird packaging this season. Man, there's the Clang. We haven't had a single Nine Tails yet. No, not day. yet. Not yet. There's the Snorod, the Fletching, the Pharisee, the Smear. No, no, that was last, was last week. Dreepy. Dreepy. And, oh, the Zeraora. So that is a two point, but it's minus one because of the V-Star. So just a single point. It's a little bit of a kick in the pants yeah. because he would have been tied for last place with that. And unfortunately, it actually puts you at a whole point. <laughs> yeah, that Zeraora actually yeah, pulls you into a bad spot <laughs> because of the type advantage. Oh, that's sneaky. That's sneaky Zeraora. Oh, Although, that being said, there are multiple packs that still have to be opened throughout the rest of the season. So, being, you know, at that 0-1 marker, yeah. I feel like that's still a good place to be in for last place. Right. I mean, if you're at 0 right now, if you want to stay there, you're going to have to get exceptionally lucky slash unlucky. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. That would require, basically, to get to a 0 at the end, you'd have had to have pulled three V-Star markers. I'm going to call it Lun-Ucky. Lun-Ucky. Yeah. There you go. We want to be very Lun-Ucky. All right, Ben, well, you want to open the pack for our next contestant, Aerofell. Aerofell. Who has successfully defended against the Starks and the Lannisters and everybody else from Game of Thrones with a name like Arrowfell? There's no doubt. Although, yeah. has not done a particularly spectacular job pulling big cards in the past, if I do remember correctly. Yeah, it looks like their season total last time was four, yeah. and that was with three packs. Yeah. So it's another person who was gunning for last place, it, but... I believe Aerofell got an honorable mention last season for having the lowest score with the most packs. Ah, uh, yes, you're right, yes, yeah. Indeed. So they, they might have been in contention. This is why we changed the rules, though, so you have to have at least two packs. At least two. At yeah. least two. You have to get last place. All so, right, so let's see here. here. The Meow Stick, the Rufflet. Are they going to try and pull a Rousey, repeat here? The Growlithe, the Mischievous. Well, if only it had been Fireball, Ben. No, I know. Oh, my god. And the Cabalia. So just, just like last season... They're, they're sticking true to their guns. Sticking true to their guns. They got a single lot, point. Lots of packs, very few points. Lots of packs. Four packs, four points across both seasons, although the last season points don't count for this season. So there's that. Anyway, we'll continue. Next up, Lacey. Lacey. Man, oh man. I feel like I feel like there could still be some gold left in this pack. In you this think box, so? You, you, know? you got, like, confidence in it? I, I mean, who, who knows what could happen? Altar Lugia V. That's pretty wild. Whoosh. Water energy. The leafy camo poncho, the kind we all want. Yeah. Can't wait for North Face to come out with one. Myself. Relic. Oh! oh! I told you, Ben, there was gold left in the box, and it is a gold Duraludon V Max. That's pretty exciting. They've been doing all sorts of these gold prints. And then the Keldeo, which is not nearly as cool at all. Ben, what is the Duraludon worth? That is very interesting. So that's that is a trainer gallery card, right? Yes, it is. Okay, so let's take a look here. Trainer so gallery two, 30, so it's the bottom one. Trainer, so two dollars and eighteen cents. So, so we'll a, get up to we'll get up to three, so a four-point pack. Uh, but always, I mean, a gold card is never something to be... Oh, I know. To, to it's always an exciting pull. Yeah. And honestly, Duraludon is semi-good at the moment. Its ability makes it so that Pokemon with special energy attached can't do damage. And Lugia's whole thing is spreading special energy everywhere. So... Uh, that is uh, another good way to counter Lugia if you're so inclined and you want to play your Duraludon VMAX. Next up, Ben, new... Uh, new player to the game. New it player. is Disney Villains Rock. Disney Villains Rock. Disney Villains Rock. Big you fan of. A, uh, you think it's a genre of music or just a commentary about how they feel about Disney villains? Oh, that's what you're saying. Yeah, that's what you're saying. I'm gonna go with Disney Villains Rock, like almost as if like they're in a band together. Yeah. Okay. Like yeah. they're like they like rock. They, yeah. Like they they jam out. Right. So like on their Spotify Wrapped, it's like, wow, you're really into Disney Villains Rock. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Bam. We'll do the flip. And it's the water. Of yes, course it is. Of course it is. We knew <laughs> it was going to be. Back to back. The slurp slurp off. Right the Raichu. Point. Yeah, there we go. Sun the clink. clink. The Litten. And... Oh, oh the Dragapult. Dragapult. There we go. So it's a two-point pack for Disney Villains Rock. Congratulations. Can't, can't wait for your next album. There you go. Bam. Here we go. Throw you in the box. Then we have another brand new player. M bug, M bug, M bug, brand new. Welcome to the game, M bug. Do you think M bug is like a nickname from a parent? Like, oh hey, M bug, how you doing? It does sound right. It does sound right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Maybe we get some bug Pokemon in here. 
Do your kids have unique nicknames? Um, well, I mean, I guess if you want to say, like, Nick and Nate are nicknames, because... <laughs> nicknames. Ha. Ha. <laughs> Nick has a great nickname. It's Nick! <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Hilarious. I mean, there's names like Nicholas and Nathan, so it's sort of like that. That's true. Um, we call it Luke Lukester a lot. I do, yeah. I like to call him Lukester. Yeah. Let's see. We have the Dark Energy, so no type advantage on this one. There's a nice bug for M-Bug. Yeah, uh, yeah. Molga yeah, gets an extra point. The Stun Fisk is the point. The Gym, gym trainer, trainer and the Arcanine. Arcanine. So it looks okay. like a three-point pack for M-Bug to enter their career here. Man, we've seen some people enter into the game, like like uh, Ben C, uh, who came out just like swinging for the fences, hit up that 70-point number, but then, you know, other bits... Whew, it's hard, to, it's hard to win this game. <laughs> it is hard it's to hard win to this win game. It. We just never know what's going to happen. Yeah. All right. Next up, we have uh, from Fast and the Furious, Dom. Dom. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I'm trying to see what's the front pack about Don here. He regularly uses Pokemon cards in the toy school workshop he runs at the museum he works in. Well, that's hey, cool. how about that? Aim with the bam, flip. Bam. Oh. oh, I think he did it. Something must have gone backwards. Oh, that did, because that is your star card right That's there. Your star okay. Right there, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go a little bit backwards. Let's see what we can do here. Let me guess anything extra in the pack. Maybe the trainer gallery could so oh, oh, it's the Radiant Jirachi! There we go, which I do believe is the one that is worth I think it's three points, right? Or is it two? I think it's two points. Okay. Let's see. The Radiant Jirachi is gonna be worth a dollar three. Rounds up to two. Good rounding on the yeah. Jirachi. It is. So, so it's, it's a, a three-point three pack. pack. Not two shabs there. Not two shabs. That's our first Radiant Jirachi of the season as well. That is, yeah. And you know, last season there was a good, a, a small handful of um, like non full art cards that were worth a little bit more. But the Jirachi yeah. is like one of two this season. The other is a trainer card, which yeah. we have pulled so far. The Forest Steel Stone. That's the one. Yes, that's it right there. Bam. All right. Next up, we have another crowd favorite, Ben. John Borg. John Borg. John Borg. Let's see. Can John Borg make a big splash? Is it time? And bam! Oh, Ooh, so. Man. Did you no. never heard after that? Nah. nah. Oh, the Nine Tails. That's a Okay, point. okay, yeah. First, oh, I do see something peeking the out. The Whalemer. The there. Okay, so we got some fun uh, chase cards happening in this one. The Halucha and the Regidrago, Drago, which I think we saw in a previous round is worth just a single point. I believe so. We'll double check just for safety. Yep, double check it. Want to be sure. But I think this is a three-point pack for John Borg. Dollar sixteen oh, for the red. Yeah, there we go. So worth two points. I'm glad we double points. checked. There we go. It's a four-point pack. Well done. All right. So maybe that'll come into play later. It could be. Could be. Could be a big Steve uh, number right there. A big Steve, if you'll recall, so far after our first month of polls is sitting at just two points. Just two points. So just two points. You could really end anywhere. Uh, let's see. Next up, we have a uh, a former season cha season one champion, B Grim. B Grim. Yeah, so we know B Grim has the skills. But can she deliver in season three? Got them chops. Exactly. At some point in this game, Ben, we're gonna have like a repeat champion, you know? You think so? At you some think so? Like, at, we, you know, if we do it long enough, it just stands the reason. God, Big Grim is our, truly remarkable. It would. It would be. But I'd be so excited at the yeah. same time. So far, this game just like I genuinely have been blown away by like the things that have happened on so many occasions. So many. You think like, no, the, what are the odds of that? Then it happens. And then it happens. And then you got a new thing you're rooting for. Man, there's so many dark cards in this pack. There are. The Archeops, yeah, so that's, that's a really competitive point. card. And the Victini, Victini. Okay. so it's like a two-point pack there. But you do have the Archeops, which is really good. It's kind of a cool-looking Pokemon, too. Yeah, it's a fossil Pokemon. I like it. Yeah. I feel like I would be a fan of that if I actually played games. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I knew you were thinking about picking up Scarlet or Violet there. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, all right. Next up, we have Chrysera. I've been playing uh, Pokemon Scarlet a bunch lately. It is quite good. Who's your starter? Uh, Fuikoko. Oh, obviously. Of course, yeah. yeah. Of course. Everyone. I think everyone picked Fuikoko from what I'm hearing. It's I think, like, Twitter really, like, adopted, like, Sprigatito, the grass cat Pokemon, and like some people were on Quaxley, and I feel like they were really loud about it, but when push came to shove, everyone chose Fuego Go. Love it. Love it. Because yeah. it's like a little hot pepper. Is, it, is Love It a Pokemon? Uh, Squavit. Squavit. Squavit, yeah. Squ I, I squab it then. You squab it? Squab it. Bam. Oh, here we go! Which probably means the next pack, too! Okay, so, so anticipation now, is building. Who's to say? Now, all we need is some sort of wild pull here. We could get another big score, right? Let's see, we have the Flitchinder, the Emergency Jelly, the Dreepy, the Vulpix, the Emolga, so there you go, that's worth two, the Drowsy, the Guard of War, okay. and oh, the Forest Seal Stone. So this is that other uh, Hollow Rare that's actually worth... I think it's uh, worth three points. Three. Let me just double check that. So number 156. 
is worth two dollars and ninety cents. So that's three. And what's okay. the guard of war? TGO five. Let's see. TGO five is worth a dollar twenty-two. So that's going to be worth two points. All right. So that's five there, six, and then times two. This is a twelve-point pack. Nice. Oh my goodness. That is fantastic work. This would have been enough for first place uh, if you were in the first episode. Yes, it would have been. But uh, we're not. We're in the third episode where things have gone insane. Things have heated things up. Things have heated up, you know? You think you're going to start the season off, you're like, eight points. Wow, this is going to be a tight race. No. <laughs> it's not, apparently. We'll see. This is your pack to open, not Oh, wow, wow, I'm so wow. sorry. Just throwing it around, This is too. Jack coming in. I believe this is Jack's first season. Uh, let's see. Real name is Jack, but nickname is Rab, short for Rabbit, because he's always been very energetic. Oh, I like it. Okay. Right. Right. So, I don't know if there's any Rabbit Pokemon in this particular uh, set, but we can hope. All right, you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Wasn't it supposed to be? And it wasn't. wasn't. Oh, you're right. Oh, how about that? Something has happened. There was Something a mix-up at the fuck. factory. Wow. I wonder if that'll mean for anything interesting. Yeah. Brandon! <laughs> Lance! Swablu? Mr. Brandon. I don't even know. I think he, he works in sort of like battle. Rotom. 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 We got the Radiant Serena. And, and the Amoonga. So that's okay. going to be a three point pack there. A three point pack. For Jack the Ra Oh, Jack Rabbit. I get what's happening. Oh, here. I. Wow, Jack Rabbit. I see. Okay, okay. Very clever. The explanation that was given was sort of like the Energizer Bunny. Energizer of sorts, Bunny, you know? yes. The Energizer yeah. Jack Rabbit, as it were. All right, next up we have Manuel Knight. Coming in. This is their second season of play. Again, we have somebody who is in that contention for the Big Steve Award with 13 points last season. Target was 14 points. We've all got actually tied chance. Big Steve. Yeah. So. But that's not what you want to do. You want to pass him right at the finish line. Boom. Eyeball energy. That's nice to see. Oh, there is a rabbit type Pokemon in this set. Hey, there you go. There's a Serena. So if we can see the full art Serena on anyone, that's like the, the second most valuable card in the set. That'd be very exciting. Elgium, Fungus, Sandy Gas, the Rotom is going to be worth a point, and the Delphox is going to be worth a point. So okay, that's a so two, two point, point pack for Manuel. So right. once again, tied with Big Steve, which is kind again, of interesting. It's, uh, it's weird how people like play the same strategy. They do, over they do. Yeah, they have you wouldn't behaviors. think you'd have much control over it, but apparently they do. Apparently they do. All right, Ben, you've got Moss Twig. Moss Twig! On deck. The Twiggiest. And with the flip, oh, there oh here it is. There Here's it is. the type advantage. Feels All right. Like, oh, I, I, I got to tell you, I also see a glimmer back there. Uh -oh. I think I see a glimmer peeking through. And we already got the multiplier, which is very exciting. I, <laughs> I think I heard a whoosh. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Candice. Mm -hmm. Spinarak. Beldum. Yeah, any additional extra points here. That would be any, fantastic. Any additional extra points. Matang. Uh, nothing. And, and oh. The Regilecki oh. VMAX, and it is, it's also electric, so that's one extra point on top of whatever it's worth. Yeah, okay, I want to say it was like $3. Well, let's take a look here. Let's take a look. <laughs> not the first, not even, yeah, we've pulled one of these we already. We have pulled another one. That's, yeah, it is wild. All uh, right. Which is, which is just proof that we can pull another Alt Art Lugia V. You it, know? It, Exactly. 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 Okay, coming in at $2.40, it's going to make it three points times, no, no three plus one plus is one, four, four times two. Eight. Eight point pack. Look at us doing go. math. We can do it. Congratulations. That's honestly, it's just a cool looking card. It is. Reg Lucky like VMAX. You know what it's good at beating? Lugia. But not, but not at this game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this game, the type, yeah. Even with the type advantage. <laughs> Even with, no, yeah. It's like... <laughs> oh, man. Next up, Mask Maker. Here we go. Mask Maker's second season. It's about an embarrassing amount uh, mm. Mask Maker has spent an embarrassing amount of time studying wand lore. Mm. Yeah, same though. Same. Do you know your wand? I want to say it is Rowan. Ooh, I think. seems mysterious. It does, right? I don't know what the core is. <laughs> I got Walnut with Phoenix. You had there. Phoenix, I know. Yeah. You had a Phoenix core, you had a Thestral Patronus. You have a very good Wizarding I, World account. I do, I do. I know. I will not trade it for anything <laughs> other than maybe a Lugia V. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. There's the Lantern. That's, that's the first Lantern I think we've pulled. Yeah, maybe. All season, maybe. I don't know. Sunkern and Dee Dee. So many grass types. Spinarak and Guard, Guard of War. War. So just a two point pack there for Mask Maker. That's all right. That's all right. You are still in it. You're right down there with Big Steve, honestly. 
It's a good place to be. It's a good it place is. to be. It is. I think that Big Steve is probably just biding his time with his like two point like companions. Oh, it would be the most Steven thing to just like pull out something wild at it, the end. It would be. It He'll would. be the other one to get the alt art Lugia V. You know. I have known Steven since I was eleven years old, and the number of times that he'll just like randomly call something and be right is just like it is beyond infuriating. Yeah. So anyway, I just expect big things. That's all. Next up, we have Josh. Josh, is this the second Josh? I think we have two Joshes. We might. Well, this is Josh G. Josh G. Josh G. Uh, you alumni and professional IT nerd. Okay. We should be sure to let uh, editor Ethan know so that there's no confusion upon the openings. Yeah. Can you imagine if Ooh. you were like a Ben C and then you saw a different Ben C? That would be confusing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. to the Ralts, we know at least it's going to be a point. Okay, so we know we'll at least it. got a Ralts. You know what's interesting is that I feel like we've been pulling a ton of those in the other packs this season yeah. and not today. Not a lot. Not a lot of Whalemers, not a lot of Ralts. Okay, so the Rock is pummeling energy. Sunflora, oh, Primordial oh, Arthur, Ralts. the Ralts. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, Spin another Pikachu. Pikachu. Point. Point. Yeah. Togunamaru, and, and boom! The, the Miss Magus. Yeah, so that's going to be a three-point pack. The Marvelous <laughs> Miss Magus. Oh, uh, Marvelous Miss Magus! That could be a fun spin-off. <laughs> there you go. Welcome to our uh, Pokemon show. The Marvelous Miss Magus. Where Miss Magus is trying to be uh, a comedian. Yeah. <laughs> but they're a ghost Pokemon. Oh, no! Hey! Everyone doesn't treat them the same. Oh, it's a sad story. Also, they're going through a divorce. <sighs> Man. Oh well. Oh well. If things had just gone differently. Maybe. Or Maybe. the same. Yeah. Maybe they'll get back with their husband. Maybe they won't. I don't know enough about Miss Maisel. Honestly, this is this analogy has crept out of my depth. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost the metaphor. Okay, here we go. Next up, we have Jesse Utile, and they've got a <coughs> nice water energy. Jesse was a things. strong season. Twenty-seven points last season. Yeah, that's pretty solid. There's Baneri. The There's Ralts. a Ralts from yep. the point. The Dupai and, and the Fion. Bam. All right. So it's going to be a two point pack for Jesse. Uh, so last time, that's actually also how they started the season was with two points. And okay. they ended up with 27. So, so just like a slow start, but yeah. like, you know, you got to start somewhere. All right. We have, oh no, EK Scow. Sco. Scow. Like Thou. EK. <laughs> <laughs> Though. EK Sco! EK Sco! Next up, EK Sco! EK Sco! Nailed it on the first pronunciation. The problem is that I often mispronounce words on purpose. Yeah, I know, I know. And then I'm like, oh no, it says rhyme like this, but I say that word wrong on purpose all the time. Alright, let's see here. I think I think I do see something kind of peeking through just at a glance before we do our four card shuffle. We got the fireball energy up on top. Enerith, Matang, Fampy, Fletchling. Nothing bonus yet. Fennekin, will we have something? Wallace and oh. the Crobat. Man, so, I don't know what I saw. I don't know what you saw. Nothing man. was peeking out, unfortunately. So just a just a mere single point on that whole pack there. Yep, there you go. Angling for the uh, for the last place there you box. Go. All right, we're coming towards the end of month number one here. We have four more packs to see if someone can go absolutely wild. Next up, we have Brant. 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 He finished last season with 10 points. 10 points. But well done, Brant. Well done. How would they do this time? Hmm? Can we pull something wild and big and crazy? I, I would love it if we could still close out the day with something else, you know? I know, right? Something thrilling. Bam, oh, a man. rock is pummeling energy. Rock is pummeling, okay. Not bad, the Duosian, Hypno. Relicanth, Togedomaru. Can we get something big in here? Oh, Pikachu, Pikachu that's where the point is. And a Frost last. So, so far, just the two points there. Possibly our the most season. commonly pulled uh, rare card on the season, I think, is possibly that Frost last. You think so? Have we pulled a bunch of those? I, th I think, I feel like there's been at least four. Okay. Yeah, yeah, if I were to guesstimate. All right, maybe Andy will go Frost last again. Andy, a.k.a. the owner of all of the toys from Toy Story. That's right. Participates in Duckpin Bowling Tournaments. Hey! That's cool. That's pretty cool, Andy. Okay, let's see here. That's <laughs> giving me at least a point there, because we got the type advantage peeking out from the top. Although right. last time I thought I saw it, so maybe it won't be there by the time yeah, we actually we're flip. Through, there's like, no, there wasn't any electric types. Nope, yeah, okay, so eyeball, eyeball energy. energy. Okay, yep. and then I got the Serena, Serena. the Worker. The Chin Chow. Chin Chow, that'll get you a point. Love it. The Dupire, the Ponytail, the Venonat. 
Uh, that's not a rare, so let's see what else we got. The, uh, the Armaldo. Armaldo. Looks like a two-point pack to me for Andy. Armaldo seems like a, a name of like a potential uncle. It's like, oh, it's my uncle Armaldo. 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 Who's here? There Makes he his is. famous seven-layer dip, yeah. as always. <laughs> Oh boy, I bet he's a riot at Thanksgiving. Probably so. Yeah, I think that's the companion uh, fossil Pokemon to go with Archaeops. Okay, yeah. okay, Archaeops. All right, next up, Lauren B. Lauren B. Lauren B. from The Bachelor, right? Hey, probably, <laughs> probably so. Ari's wife. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations on the twins. Yeah. yeah we watched The Bachelor. <laughs> Spoilers. I don't know, I kind of cut you down midway through Paradise. Yeah, I, I, out, I have man. recently, I have recently thrown uh -oh. in the towel. Oh. Lauren B hits it with the D star, so that's gonna be a minus one. <clears throat> Will we have a zero? Will we have a zero? We've had a zero. Oh gosh, I already did that. That was bad. Uh, will we have a zero on the day? We've had one in every week so far. It's looking like maybe, maybe. the haunch crow is. Oh, I think I think that is what's gonna happen. Oh, it is. It's a dragapult. Okay. Wow. So Lauren B, it turns out, is going for. The closeout zero, going for the last place. So we award. have three people, brand yeah. new cat, a brand new possibility. That's yes. happened three times already across month one, uh, week three of the season. It can happen. So we have Data, Anita, and Lauren B all down at zero. How about that? Now, who will keep that spot? Who can repeat next month? I know. That's I, I, question. All eyes are going to be on them for they sure. Are. All right, and our final pack of the day, our final pack of December. Is going to Stefan and Susie, which is also the final pack of the year, I guess. That, that's true, that's true. So as a reminder, guys, if you are interested in getting in on season three, uh, the second batch of openings, you just need to sign up by December 31st of this month in order to get in on that. Uh, it's patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Bam. Oh, man. And uh -oh, once again, man, there we, it is. Maybe we'll have a double zero here because there's the V-Star marker. Uh-oh. What a way to close out. What okay, a way. so we got the Jinx. Toxapex. Professor Laventon. Murkrow. Okay, oh, the Rotom. Okay, so that's okay, going to bring okay. us to a single point. So yeah, they're not going to be right there in dead last. And... Oh, oh, the Arcanine V, which I want to say was the very first card from the very first pack. What a was weird it not? Name. It might have been. It might have been. So. We think we opened and closed December with an Arcanine. All right, let's see here. That's going to be worth 85 cents. Rounds up to a single point. So plus um, the one, minus the one is two points, right? No, no two I'm minus sorry. one is I, one. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, okay. we, yeah, we can math so hard. We can math so hard. All right. So Stefan and Susie also down there with a single point. The V star marker, sort of holding them back, but at least they can put a full arc, uh, arcanine there. That, uh, honestly, yeah. All, the all things being equal, like a fairly low score, but still getting like the full arc card at the same time. So yep. you're, you got like one foot in both camps, which was very exciting, very impressive. Yeah, strategic play. It is. It's not yeah. too bad. It's not too bad. Reminder: Yes, if you want to uh, be in contender for the last place award, which is an elite trainer box of Silver Tempest, make sure you sign up by the end of December because you have to play at least two rounds to qualify for that. Otherwise, uh, you're in contention for everything. That's the eight quality eighth place award, which it's hard to judge that until we get into the. Very very final round. The Big Steve Award, also hard to tell, and then the uh, overall champion, which you're probably going to have to pull the Alt Art Lugia B yourself, but it's not impossible. It's not impossible, <laughs> otherwise you're going to have to like really start compounding some like big points. Yeah, you're going to need some um, otherwise big, uh, big, uh, big points. Because Ben C has 78 points, I think, at the moment. Yeah. So if, if Ben can continue like extremely competitive play over the next couple of weeks, then yeah. there's like a chance that you could like stack up a couple of of, um, energy multipliers, and but like you're gonna need to get lucky. It's, I mean, this is the first time that this has happened in Box Breaker so far. We've opened up a lot of boxes. It is the number one rarest card that we pulled today, which was extremely exciting. What's well, gonna be crazy if someone else does pull it, and then there's this like big struggle at the top for like just like the the nickel and diming on the other cards. Well, you know, we compared, I think, at one point in time, this game to like professional cycling, <laughs> but like in each day of like the Tour de France, you have these breakaways where it's like you have these two people who are like miles ahead of everybody yeah. else and, and it's then, just like 
<laughs> we keep thinking no one's going to beat him. And then it keeps happening. And then something keeps happening. So who's to say? Maybe the next Lugia alt art V will come with the multiplier and they'll be at like 500 points. Oh my god, be unreal. <laughs> I can't be believe it. Be unreal. Yeah. Uh, but guys, if you want to check it out, again, it's patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Be sure to select that box breakers tier. Or if you're interested in playing video games with Jay and I once a month, we do an hour of Rocket League. Uh, that is going to be the gaming with patrons tier at the same website. Link is in the description below. Otherwise, until next time, bye!